Hey y'all, I can't wait to show you guys this beautiful manner. Come on y'all, let's view this beautiful Victorian Dame Manor in Second Life on the Sam Dushi de Valentinois. It is very aesthetically pleasing. Come on, let's look around. First things first, I'm doing this voiceover and my son is asleep, so if y'all hear him snoring, please just disregard that. So, um, on this sim, it's one huge manor. Each room is connected to another room that is just as highly as decorated as the last. I definitely recommend this as some place for people who are in SL to come and visit, especially if they like to take pictures or just look around and things like that. Um, especially if people have like, they do like period play, but you know, like Victorian style play and, and things like that in Second Life. I feel like this would be a good um, place to come every time I come here there's never anybody here which I don't get that this place is, has been around since 2020 um but I ain't really here you know I want to show y'all around we can walk and talk though so I am like in a space in my life right now where I don't know if I want to be in a relationship or if I just want like a little cuddy buddy and I feel like I should want to be in a relationship but I feel like I'm not built to be in a relationship because I'm always the one that leaves. I, I don't know how to, I'm not built to stick it out. Like I'm not, I don't subscribe to struggle love. I'm not interested in telling anybody in the future how I struggle with somebody and then things were perfect. I'm not interested in that. Um, so I don't subscribe to it. So anytime I feel like I'm in a relationship or I'm in a, 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 a place where I'm with somebody and I feel like struggle is, is in the mix, I quickly remove myself because that is not going to be my story. I refuse. There are many other people who are cool with struggle love. I'm just not. That's just not for me. And so because of that, I'm always leaving. If we have an argument, for instance, and the person that I'm with, they get out their body. If you get to want to call me on my name or you want to get to take low blows and things that I confided in you with, I'm never talking to you again. It's not a I'm going to leave and then I'm going to come back after you call me like five times. No, I'm never talking to you again. I'm never talking to you again. And I'm and I'm always mean that with my whole entire chat. So I told mom like I don't feel like I'm built to be in a relationship because I'm I don't stick through the garbage. Like I don't stick through the trash. I leave. I leave and I never come back. And so it just puts me in such a odd space because it's like it's a part of me that wants to be in a relationship but then it's another part of me that's like so what happens how are you going to behave differently when things get quote unquote uncomfortable and it's like i understand disagreements and things like that but a lot of times you you date people who you don't know have very poor communication skills when it comes to explaining themselves or um basically like getting their emotions out when they're upset and so they automatically go into attack mode and i used to be i was i was very very guilty of that but i'm not the same person that i was years ago and so i'm not tolerating things that i would tolerate years ago no more than i would expect a man to tolerate things that they that he didn't tolerate years ago now so I always tell my mom, I'm like, I just, I don't know. I'm, it's such a confusing space to be in because I feel like I should want to be in a relationship, but the type of relationship that I want would be a relationship that would kind of be like me again, like two me's, but in a, in a man. And I don't feel like that is reasonable. I don't never expect anybody to um, be me, but that's what I want. And so I feel like that's not the right headspace to be in to even try to want to date somebody. This setup was so funny. I said, if this was real life, you're going to burn the, your back the hell up. But anywho, so I'm like so torn, torn in between the two. I'm feeling very Latoya lucky because it's like, I, you know what? And I really do feel like social media really makes you want things that 
you probably wouldn't really want in any other circumstances. It's like, okay, you know, I would want this. I would want that. I would want, I want the vacations and stuff like that. But at the same time, it's like, I don't want the, 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 the stuff that could possibly come along with being in a relationship. There's always going to be hiccups in relationships and things like that. And it's like, for me, the first sign of a red flag i'm like i'm out of here i i no longer ignore them i'm no longer like well i can change that and no if i see it i'm out of there i don't care who you are i always tell people if i could leave the father of my child alone it, nobody stands a chance because he he got he got the most chances out of everybody i'm like so if if i could leave him alone y'all don't stand a chance I don't, I don't know if anybody watching this, they got kids, but when I tell you, it's something, it's something about them, the, the person you had your child with, it's like they got a hold on you. They they put their claws in you. It's like, oh, I've been letting you do stuff that I would never let nobody else do. So I'm just at a point where I'm like, if I meet somebody, you really have to, you got to act like you got some damn sense with me. Because I, I got sense. I might not have had the sense that I have now. I know I didn't have the sense that I had now. Uh, years ago but I got it now and so it's one of those things where when you are by yourself for so long we can look at the outside part y'all when you by yourself for so long it's like you learn so much about yourself and about the things that you want and about the things that you don't want and about the things that you will tolerate and about the things that you won't tolerate so I'm very much so at a space in my life right now where I'm just like I'm not willing to tolerate anything i want somebody that's gonna be evenly yoked i want us to have a great time to be together is it always gonna be perfect no but if we have a disagreement we can be able to agree to disagree and we don't have to raise our voices we don't have to call each other out our names and stuff like that like we can have a cordial disagreement and then come back to an equal space where we can both go back to being the way that things were before we got into that disagreement. I don't want to argue with nobody. We can have a disagreement, but I don't want to argue with nobody. So I feel like until somebody like that comes into my life, I don't know. I, I think I, I think I might just go ahead and wing it out. Get you know, stay with the stay with the little with the little cuddy buddies until I'm ready for something else. But uh, that's it, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time.